2 Samuel chapter 4 When Saul's son heard that Abner had died in Hebron, he lost heart, and all Israel was troubled. Now Saul's son had two men who were captains of troops. The name of the one was Baana, and the name of the other Rechab, the sons of Ramon, the Berothite of the children of Benjamin. For Beroth also was part of Benjamin, because the Berothites to Gidim and have been sojourners there until this day. Jonathan, Saul's son, had a son who was lame in his feet. He was five years old when the news about Saul and Jonathan came from Jezreel. And his nurse took him up and fled. And it happened, as she made haste to flee, that he fell and became lame. His name was Mephibosheth. Then the sons of Remon, the Beerthoite, Rechab, and Banna, set out and came at about the heat of the day to the house of Esboseth, who was laying on his bed at noon. And they came there all the way into his house as though to get wheat, and they stabbed him in the stomach. Then Rechab and Banna, his brother, escaped. For when they came into the house, he was lying on his bed in his bedroom. Then they struck him and killed him, beheaded him and took his head, and were all night escaping through the plain. And they brought the head of Ishboseth to David at Hebron, and said to the king, Here is the head of Ishboseth, the son of Saul, your enemy, who sought your life. And the Lord has avenged my lord the king this day of Saul and his descendants. But David answered Rechab and Bana, his brother, the sons of Rima the Berothite, and said to them, As the Lord lives, who has redeemed my life from all adversity, when someone told me, saying, Look, Saul is dead, thinking to have brought good news, I arrested him and had him executed in Zeklog, the one who thought I would give him a reward for his news. How much more? when the wicked men have killed a righteous person in his own house on his bed. Therefore I shall not require his blood at your hand and remove you from the earth. So David commanded his young men, and they executed him, cut off their hands and feet, and hanged them by the pool in Hebron. But they took the head of Esboseth and buried it in the tomb of Abner in Hebron.